To the driving cloud by Henry Longfellow. Gloomy and dark art thou, a chief of mighty Omaha's. Gloomy and dark is the driving cloud whose name thou hast taken. Wrapped in thy scarlet blanket, I see thee stalk through the city's narrow and populous streets, as once by the margin of rivers stalked those birds unknown that have left us only the footprints. What, in a few short years, will remain of our race but the footprints? How canst thou walk these streets, who hast strut between turf of the Paris? Who canst thou breath this air, who has breath the sweet air of the mountains? It is in vain that the lordly looks of disdain thou dost challenge looks of disdain in return, and question these walls and these pavements, claiming the souls of the hunting grounds, while downtrodden millions starve in the garrets of Europe, and cry from its caverns that they, too, have been created hers of the earth, and claim its division. Back then, back to the woods and the regions west of the Wabash, where as a monarch thou reignest, and what in the leaves of the maple path the floors of a palace hordes of gold, and in summer pine trees weft through its chambers the odorous breath of the branches. There were strong and great, a hero, a tamer of horses. There were chases the steady stack on the banks of the Elkhorn, or by the roar of the running water, or where the Omaha calls we, and its full wide raven like a brave for Blackfeet. Hark, what murmurs arise from the heart of those mountainous deserts? Is it the cry of a fox and crows of a mighty behemoth who, unharmed, on his task once called the boats of thunder, and on lurks in his lair to destroy the race of a red man? For more fatal to be in the race than the crows of a fox, for more fatal to be in the race than the treat of behemoth, lo, the big thunder canoe of its deadly breast from its sorry, merciless current, and yonder I found a breeze, the campfires gleam through the night. And the cloud of dust and the grey of daybreak marks not the buffalo's trick, nor the mountain stacks to his horse race. It is a caravan, widening the desert where dwell the Comanches. Ah, how the breath of the Saxon Celts, like the blast of the east wind, drifts evermore to the west the scanty smokes of the wigwams.